I'm selfish, impatient, and a little insecure. I make mistakes, I am out of control and at times hard to handle. But if you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my B. If you can make a woman laugh, you can make her do anything. The real lover is the man who can thrill you by kissing your forehead or smiling into your eyes or just staring into space. Imperfection is beauty, madness is genius, and it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. Keep smiling, because life is a beautiful thing and there's so much to smile about. A wise girl knows her limits, a smart girl knows that she has none. It's all make-believe, isn't it? We should all start to live before we get too old. Fame is like caviar, you know, it's good to have caviar, but not when you have it at every meal. If there is only one thing in my life that I am proud of, it's that I've never been a kept woman. I am trying to find myself. Sometimes that's not easy. Fear is stupid. So are regrets. If I'd observed all the rules, I'd never got anywhere. Dreaming about being an actress is more exciting than being one. I don't want to make money. I just want to be wonderful. I restore myself when I'm alone. It's better to be unhappy alone than unhappy with someone, so far. Men who think that a woman's past love affairs lessen her love for them are usually stupid and weak. One of the best things that ever happened to me is that I'm a woman. That is the way all females should feel. A woman knows by intuition, or instinct, what is best for herself. Give a girl the right shoes, and she can conquer the world. The truth is, I've never fooled anyone. I've let men sometimes fool themselves. We are all of us stars, and we deserve to twinkle. I am good, but not an angel. I do sin, but I am not the devil. I am just a small girl in a big world trying to find someone to love. Success makes so many people hate you. I wish it wasn't that way. It would be wonderful to enjoy success without seeing envy in the eyes of those around you. A strong man doesn't have to be dominant toward a woman. He doesn't match his strength against a woman weak with love for him. He matches it against the world. Sex is a part of nature. I go along with nature. I don't mind living in a man's world as long as I can be a woman in it. A smart girl leaves before she is left. I don't know who invented high heels, but all women owe him a lot. Fame doesn't fulfill you. It warms you a bit, but that warmth is temporary. I have always had a talent for irritating women since I was 14. Depending upon my activities, I sleep between 5 and 10 hours every night. I sleep in an extra-wide single bed. I have never been able to wear pajamas or creepy nightgowns. They disturb my sleep. The nicest thing for me is sleep, then at least I can dream. Dogs never bite me, just humans. 
The body is meant to be seen, not all covered up. I think that sexuality is only attractive when it's natural and spontaneous. Experts on romance say for a happy marriage, there has to be more than a passionate love. There must be a genuine liking for each other. Which, in my book, is a good definition for friendship. A career is wonderful, but you can't curl up with it on a cold night. My work is the only ground I've ever had to stand on. To put it bluntly, I seem to have a whole superstructure with no foundation, but I'm working on the foundation. Fame is fickle, and I know it. It has its compensations, but it also has its drawbacks, and I've experienced them both. Beauty and femininity are ageless and can't be contrived, and glamour, although the manufacturers won't like this, cannot be manufactured. Not real glamour, it's based on femininity. Friends accept you the way you are. I'm very definitely a woman and I enjoy it. There was like a hush over the whole place when I came on to sing, Happy Birthday, I thought, my gosh, what if no sound comes out? I have too many fantasies to be a housewife. I guess I am a fantasy. Sometimes I've been to a party where no one spoke to me for a whole evening. The men, frightened by their wives or sweeties, would give me a wide berth. And the ladies would gang up in a corner to discuss my dangerous character. I've never dropped anyone I believed in. There is just no comparison between having a dinner date with a man and staying home playing canasta with the girls. I've often stood silent at a party for hours listening to my movie idols turn into dull and little people. First, I'm trying to prove to myself that I'm a person. Then maybe I'll convince myself that I'm an actress. There was my name up in lights. I said, God, somebody's made a mistake. But there it was, in lights. And I sat there and said, remember, you're not a star. Yet there it was up in lights. I don't look at myself as a commodity, but I'm sure a lot of people have. I used to think as I looked out on the Hollywood night, there must be thousands of girls sitting alone like me dreaming of being a movie star. But I'm not going to worry about them. I'm dreaming the hardest. It is wonderful to have someone praise you to be desired. I learned to walk as a baby and I haven't had a lesson since. The public doesn't mind people living together without being married, providing they don't overdo it. When Clark Gable died, I cried for two days straight. I couldn't eat or sleep. I am alone, I am always alone no matter what. No one ever told me I was pretty when I was a little girl. All little girls should be told they're pretty even if they aren't. My dinners at home are startlingly simple. Every night, I stop at the market near my hotel and pick up a steak, lamb chops, or some liver, which I broil in the electric oven in my room. Someone said to me, if 50% of the experts in Hollywood said you had no talent and should give up, what would you do? My answer was then and still is, if 100% told me that, all 100% would be wrong. I've been on a calendar, but I've never been on time. When it comes to gossip, I have to readily admit men are as guilty as women. Sometimes I think it would be easier to avoid old age, to die young, but then you'd never complete your life, would you? You'd never wholly know you. 
I want to grow old without facelifts. I want to have the courage to be loyal to the face I have made. At 12 I looked like a girl of 17. My body was developed and shapely. I still wore the blue dress and the blouse the orphanage provided. They made me look like an overgrown lummox. I knew I belonged to the public and to the world, not because I was talented or even beautiful, but because I had never belonged to anything or anyone else. I like actors very much, but to marry one would be like marrying your brother. You look too much alike in the mirror. Creativity has got to start with humanity, and when you're a human being, you feel, you suffer. You're gay, you're sick, you're nervous, or whatever, 